We move on then to The River God, which is quite uh, an interesting poem. And I guess I should tell you before I even start that this is one of the few poems where um, you could literally go through it in a thousand different ways. So do check multiple meanings on this because the, the smile points I offer here really will just be a, excuse the pun, drop in the ocean. Um, the, the, the amount that you could actually draw on this and the amount of ways you can take it are, are really, really, really very varied. It's, um, it's got a lot of different meanings and uh, images, etc. So uh, feel free to go through it with other people and obviously in your own pace. So we start then with the uh, structure where it's got very length lines to reflect the ebb and flow in the river and it's kind of a uh, river, sorry, and it's reflected there. Obviously, it's quite short, long, it's shorter, longer. So if you look at it sideways on, it's kind of the ebb and flow of the river or the way the river is moving. You've got enjoyment uh, quite a lot all the way through. So actually, just if. Um, emphasizing uh, certain words obviously before we move on uh, and again this is uh, quite an interesting one here where she was the lady was too bold stop and then we know something uh, not very good is going to happen to her straight after that um, it's a uh, first person like a dramatic monologue and a personification of the river actually talking to us uh, and again the control that the river has obviously emphasizing the power in the title and it's all one stanza uh, joined together like a river would be without separate sections so again that's a reflection again on the uh, on the on the meaning and and the unity there so one of the meanings uh, and you notice I put a lot of question marks here because uh, again you can take this hundred ways uh, you've got the power of nature obviously with what it actually does to the woman so I brought her down here obviously it's drowned someone etc and then the idea of the god likeness is just basically that it was a lord or controller of humans in that way so obviously it controlled when they died and that gives it kind of godlike element uh, meanings obviously again and again and again is like warnings etc so we have um, we have several instances instances of um warning so those who bathe too close etc contrary to the rules so it's telling them not to do what they're going to do and then we've got the idea then in that kind of extension then are they a sacrifice and really we can kind of take the idea there because obviously it's a, it's a river god and obviously sacrificial um, acts to gods are uh, quite well known uh, quite well trodden territory um, then the idea is there again with the uh, I brought it down here and she lies in my deep riverbed uh, that gives an idea of secrets etc and then perhaps also this idea of uh, being jealous of the people that actually stare into her um, and uh, obviously wanting to punish them in some way perhaps you can take that and one of the meanings as well we got there is timelessness we really get this um, feeling obviously even though that she's old etc she's got this again and the old is repeated again there and um, the long the sense of a long time even if it's slightly out of context there the idea is really really stretched that this is something that's happened time and time and time again so we've got images as well of the uh, river, uh, the the roughness and the reediness, and it's being smelly and old, etc. And um, again, re repeat again they, with the foolish and the smelly, etc. So that gives the idea of it being a little bit of well, obviously a river and a little bit dirty to some extent. Uh, you have got the idea of the death and the corpse, etc. Um, she lies in my beautiful deep riverbed. Obviously, there she's lying there dead, and um, her golden sleepy head. So obviously, there she's asleep and she's dead in that sense and the goldenness of probably there refers probably there refers to blonde hair um you've got the idea of beauty again in that golden sleepy oh sorry again in that golden sleepy head and obviously the idea of the beautiful lady etc and so you've got the the and obviously she's a lady when she's actually referred to or this one in particular is actually referred uh, referred to so you you can kind of pick up the idea of beauty there which obviously contrasts with the river which is again linking us back to maybe why she's jealous of the person so uh we've got the Petition, which we've picked out a couple of times already like lady lady smelly etc so and maybe that's just the idea is re repeated because if you went to a river and looked at one point and went back the next day it would look pretty much the same so again it gives us idea of what we don't know about the river and obviously the um the, the secrets etc that it actually conceals underneath um you've got the idea of this real lurking feel like it's oh i may be so it's kind of like sneaky just kind of hanging around there and also the words like but here but where and but i can and what she can do oh she will oh who would etc there and there it's really gives this kind of lurking creeping feel the whole way throughout the poem and um it's a bit uh yeah it's quite sinister and uh 
uh, creepy in, in, in many in many extents. Here you've got the the golden, obviously the idea, the metaphor there, obviously being perhaps something blonde. And also if we need another one, we've got the fish floating here as an alliteration again, which just makes it more memorable to the reader. And then the language obviously is personified the whole way through. This is the river talking to us, seemingly. So the uh, some of the things that we're supposed to think about, maybe the effect of the reader, well, it makes us think that perhaps nature's not always friendly. <laughs> maybe nature here obviously is a bit of an enemy. Um, and there is a, a classic old the YouTube video about um, playing in rivers and the dangers of it. Um, if I find the link, I will actually post it at the bottom. And it was just the most creepy thing. Uh, it's from well before my time, but a colleague of mine actually pointed it out. But it, it was a public announcement video, um, sorry, a government video, just kind of putting people off playing in rivers. And they had this creepy death like character. Um, yeah, just again, just being almost like the river in this case. But uh, like I say, I'll try and find the link and put it out for you. Um, the unpredictable predictability of the uh, river as well you know obviously the way people will kind of do things contrary to the rules etc and then end up drowning uh, and this could happen to anyone at any time you know just a, a slip or a or a, a weak wrist etc might might just kind of end you end you up in there or being weak at swimming etc and it kind of gives us a history of water and just like you know when we see the water kind of come past obviously it's water from rivers that ends up in our taps and uh, maybe you can actually be thinking you know is the water you're drinking water that actually at one point drowned someone um um, obviously an extension there etc 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 and obviously the idea as well of the sacrifices that uh, that are seemingly made uh, in, in nature and obviously not just in this uh, river but also in any large expanse of water and, and that might stretch you on to thinking about tsunamis etc but um, obviously take it however which you will.